on the next screen, um, there's a series of those that have already mm -hmm. been done. Again, this was preloaded. There's different paper right. types down here at the bottom. Here's the emboss tool we used earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that's often difficult to do in 20 foot painting programs is to uh, isolate an area of colors. Uh, but we have an easy way to do that. You can set uh, tolerances for hue, saturation, uh -huh. and value. Again, I preset these in the interest of time. And uh, pick out a color here. And now it just tints just and that, that green portion of the that, screen. Yeah. Right. Try it again with a different color. Let's see it again. Mm -hmm. uh, another mode that's available, you notice I smeared those colors in the right. palette before. I can also do that with multiple colors. I can smear and give kind of a painterly effect. So again, you're taking that scanned image, you're, you're sort right. of turning it into something that looks like a painting right. instead. Though, huh? If you look at the next screen, uh -huh. that's what that would be like if you yeah. applied it to the oh. entire image. What um, else can you do with <coughs> Opal Vision? Well, it also does real-time uh, animations mm -hmm. in 24-bit. I've preloaded this animation. Wow. This was